Defending against the uppercut. I'm going to show you the way I taught my fighters back in the day. Doesn't mean it's right. This is other coaches can teach different ways to defend the uppercut, but this is what I like. And I'll never forget back in the day at Newman's Gym in San Francisco, um, two or three fighters were switching off sparring with Bash Ali, tough Nigerian wrestler turned boxer. And he was just brutalizing those guys with uppercuts. And after the spar session, the fighters came up to Tommy, how, how do I defend against those uppercuts? And as cocky as Tommy always was, he, he, he would go uh, left uppercut coming, he'd go, uh, and a right uppercut coming, he'd go. He would move his head as, as he was catching the uppercuts which I really didn't teach that. It'd be hard hard to do, but I get back in the day why Tommy moved his head, you know, because you, you can catch an uppercut and the fist come, you know, that catches you and not, knocks your fist into your chin still. So I know that's why he never told me, but that's the way he just showed. But he would, he would um, catch, and he would know to move his head this way to set for the counter left hook. It was just... And it took me years to figure that out and look back what Tommy showed me in the stuff. He, he kind of didn't explain it like I would explain it to my fighters, but you had to figure it out on your own almost. So yeah, that was, that was pretty cool how he moved his head as he was catching so you can't come up and get it. So anyway, um, I have some old video of Carlos and I practicing this in 2015. I'll put some videos up, um, yeah, of Carlos and I. It's going to explain everything pretty well, and I explained it back then with a fighter. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you this stuff. And again, this is the way I teach to defend the, the uppercuts. Anyway, a right uppercut, he's not going to block it with his left glove. I Kind of gone over this a little bit before, but you can never see it, it's so fast. So in other words, block with the left. Do it like this. No, do it the wrong way. All right, say he blocks the right uppercut with his left arm. We're, to, we're kind of at stalemate, stand still. You know, his glove's there, mine's up here. Both of these arms, uh, fists got occupied right here. So here's the, here's, the way I teach it. He blocks there. I'm wide open when you throw the punch. So he comes left hook, right. So we'll do a little bit. Now same thing. On the left uppercut, if he were to block it the wrong way, which would be right, we're to stand still like this. Now you may say, throw a right uppercut at me. His hand could counter me there, but I just went down a little bit to catch it. So go, throw the right. You, you can lift this right back up to block that, but when you block somebody, you're punching them right away. So if I throw a right uppercut, yeah, go, it's fast. So let's do it slow now, catch. Yeah, now catch it without throwing a punch, catch. And he could bring this right back up. But I don't think I'm going to think about that. As soon as he catches, a left hook is coming at me. So in other words, catch right to right, left to left, and the guy will be wide open. Of uh, learning lately. The key to catching right and left uppercuts. All right, thanks for watching.